welcome back to our channel. This is our first full day together, both of us. Um, Happy Heart Treasures. Got our coffee. And we're on our way to a nearby town, maybe a couple nearby towns, to do some garage styling. And we thought we'd take the GoPro with us. So we'll see how that goes. How's your first day, Steve? <laughs> Uneventful so far. <laughs> so come on along with us and see what we find. Just thought you might like to join us and see the view in the early morning Nebraska. We do have trees. some good finds hopefully we'll show you those a little bit later but um feel good about today and we're headed on to the next one Oop, i better put my seatbelt on here go steve <laughs> hi everybody uh we found some really good finds we'll be excited to show you that we found a couple that kind of taking a chance on um i don't know anything about anime magazines but <laughs> we're gonna find out I might have a really good score or I might have a really poor score so we will uh, look that over here after a bit thanks hi everybody we are on the way home I'm kind of red-faced and hot but that's because we went to several different towns how many miles did we put on today honey uh, we will be a little over 100 miles by the time we get home and I don't know if you can see in the back some of the stuff that we got, but man, we had a good time together. What's your favorite find from today, Stephen? Stephen. What's your favorite uh, find from today, Stephen? I don't remember what all we have. We have so much stuff. Uh, Donna asked a guy about video games. Do you have any video games? And so he brought out a stack of like 40 video games and said a quarter a piece so there's a bunch that these kids were rough on games so i saw some were scratched but so they won't all be usable i guess but um 40 games ish uh, we're definitely going to make our ten dollars back and then he had three consoles he sold me for ten dollars too that are in rough shape but yeah 20 bucks for three consoles and 40 games you can't beat that favorite find but I don't know we have so much stuff back there that yeah. it's hard to say my favorite thing is probably we have a little room divider if you can see that back it's there little. it's not little it's, it's gonna be great though to um, show blankets and whatnot on so now we're on the way home and we'll try to show you what we got I thought I would ask my um, new co-worker how he 
he thought his first day on the job was on the way home. So, Steve, what do you think about your first full day working with your wife? <sighs> she drives me crazy. <laughs> No, I don't. No. Today was awesome. Um, got to sleep in longer than usual. Got up a little later. And I feel like I do when I got home from work. Because I am whooped. I'm tired. It's over 90 degrees. We put on over 100 miles. And uh, it's 2.30 in the afternoon. It's been a long day. We still haven't eaten lunch. We're just too busy. Um, but yeah, it was a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun, found a lot of really great things. And really exciting part is, uh, um, I don't know what I was gonna say there, brain part, I'm tired. <laughs> so uh, it was a lot better than crawling around in the cooler on the floor, filling things for customers that didn't always appreciate you. So. Uh, I know that my wife appreciates me. Yes, sir. And we had a lot of fun, and we have a lot we of did. potential profit that, like you will see, we'll show you some stuff. But it was just uh, way better, way better doing this. And I'm wearing shorts and a t-shirt, not uh, shorts. <laughs> not, in case you did believe me, <laughs> not dressed for winter when it's 95 degrees out. So, no, it was a good day, and we have uh, potential to make a lot of profit. We did find a lot of good stuff, so uh, yeah. Overall, I'd rate it a eight eleven. Out of 10. It was just hot. <laughs> it had nothing to do with you. It, it was, was just, hot. It's hot, and we drove a long ways. We did a lot of towns, so. But no, it was a good day. Headed home. We'll see you a little later. Bye, everybody. Wait, I'm showing. Hi. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Uh, we're home and it's like Christmas in July. Seriously, Christmas in July. It is July. Yeah. Christmas in July. We literally, we were busy. It's 10 20 now. We unloaded the van you unloaded into the living the van, room. I posted. And then we just got through and sorted things. And I'm telling you, we had a killer day garage selling today. This is fantastic. We're going to show you where there's too much to go through individual item by item. So here's a sneak peek. Ooh, okay. <laughs> that that's wasn't a, that's very a, long. That's a sneak peek. <laughs> oh uh, we're just going to go through things. I'm going to, whatever I got to do to do it, I'm going to uh, pop up some like sold comps on the screen as we show you a few things. Um, but yeah, this... This should be amazing. So we went to five towns. I think we already covered that. Oh, we went to Seward. Um, Beaver Crossing. Beaver Crossing. Friend. Friend. Dorchester. Dorchester. So we went to four towns. And it was over 100 miles. We already covered that. But, uh, oh my gosh, guys. This is awesome. So, <laughs> let's uh, get into this. And we'll just kind of go over, hit some highlights. And, uh, yeah, let's do it. And let's do it. I'm not sure how we're going to do this yet, but. Okay, let's, let's do it. Do it. Let's, all right, let's here we go. See these magazines? They're all Shonen Jump. I don't know nothing about them. Some kind of anime thing, anime, but it's anime. not just those. There's other it's kinds. It's an entire There's other kinds. freaking box. Well, that's an advertisement on the other side. Oh, Shonen oh, Jump. oh. You read them backwards. I forgot. Yeah, it's an entire box of Shonen Jump magazines, and I... I don't know. It'll be worth it, but it's going to we'll be put a, a couple comps up so we can paint the list. But I uh, paid fifteen dollars for all of these, and so that should be really good. Uh, let's see what else we want to talk about here. Look at the Wii. Where do you want to go? Over here. Over here. Uh, yeah, look at this. Check this out. Clear back to here. Okay. Give you a little rundown of some titles here now. The guy who had these games, his kids were hard on them. So maybe a third of them are scratched up. 
and in rough shape. No East Parts one. But that one is not. And probably at least half of them are still good. And you know what I paid for these? See this guitar? A Wii Guitar Hero guitar? We have two Wii Sports. Uh, one of them is pretty scratched up, so that one doesn't count. This Wii Guitar Hero guitar I paid 50 cents for. Sold comps for it are about $30, I believe. Uh, some of these games are worth... I paid a quarter a game, literally. I paid $10 for all of these games. And those movies right there. A quarter a game. <laughs> Usually we would pick through and, you know, cherry pick the games we want and check all the discs and everything. But he was like, uh, let's do the same as the movies, movies. a quor quarter a piece. And I was like, um, sold, we'll take them all. So we didn't look at the discs or anything because, yeah, literally if we throw a third of them away, it does not matter. Um, and then we asked if he had any controllers. So then I got all those. So then Donna asked, Donna did great. She asked, do you have any oh. controllers? And so he's like, well, let me go check. So then he kind of brings out, uh, there's a Wii the Lego controller, wheel. there's a Wii steering wheel, and there's a Wii, like, uh, the, you plug it in and play the old games on it, the like the pad controller. And so he brought those out, and uh, I don't even remember what he was going to charge us for $2. or anything. Two dollars or something. Yeah. Well, then Donna says, well, do you have any consoles? And he said what? And I said, and any. he says like <laughs> like which one? And she said any of them. So because he's like, well, I don't know video games. Yeah. So he <laughs> says, well, let me go check. And so then he comes back out, and there is a underneath that controller. There's a PS2, and there is a red Wii, and there's Xbox 360. We do not have all the cords for everything. We got the cords for the Wii, um, but there's not power cords for the rest. But all the consoles for ten dollars so even if you sell them for parts not working um yeah it's crazy what we got on video games from this guy he couldn't have cared less he just wanted to get rid of stuff okay these three we got at a different garage sale these are very clean two dollars a piece not a great buy but we can bundle them together and certainly make some money on it but anyway talk about this garage so sale. then we go this let's go over here Okay. okay see this little bluetooth brand new bluetooth piece uh they wanted two dollars for it so while we were there i looked it up and there was one of these that has been listed and sold and it sold for i think it was 35 dollars. so that's an easy 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 flip show right here and then this right here this is a geneva series m it's like a iPod dock or something. I don't even know what it is, but it was heavy. It's got the remote, it's got the power <laughs> cords. And so I, I thought it looked like something valuable. They said that it works. We have not tested it. They said that it works. And I looked up the comps on it and it's like from a hundred to $150. They wanted $10 for it. And did I give them 10? Yes. Yeah, I gave them $10. So it's uh, probably a hundred, hundred and fifty dollars for that. Okay, and this is our free pile. This that we is got all today. free stuff. And then those, say what you got for those. For what? Those hair things, hair products. Oh, the hair products. Uh, yeah, we just looked up one of these. Donna got all these free at a garage sale. That whole pile of stuff. Yeah, this whole pile. But I looked up this Omega Six Reactivator, four ounces, and I think it was. Fifteen dollars, I think. Yeah. I'll pop it up there. So yeah, all for free, and so all these for free. So then we found this waterproof camera backpack. It's a low pro, very nice, excellent condition. It's orange. I don't know if our lighting is all that good, but yeah, it's in excellent condition. And I can't find sold comps for this exact one yet. But when I was at the sale. I believe I found comparables of this brand for, I think it was like $80. So, uh, we'll pop that up there too. and that I paid $10 for also. Um, oh, Donna found cereal. <laughs> I'm not sure I wasn't part of that bargaining process, but, uh, 50 cents, a box. 50 cents a box for four boxes of cereal. So, Hey, 
Whatever, we'll eat it. <laughs> so, Dude, whatever. Um, there's a little Ernie, an old Ernie. Got paid a dollar for him. Not sure what he's worth, but dollar. This clean mist humidifier. Uh, it's brand new, never been used. Still has plastic around the pieces. Uh, I think it was ten dollars. It was ten. It was ten dollars, but it was half off today, so I got it for five dollars. And if I remember correctly, I think it's about forty dollars mm -hmm. sold comps. This porcelain Santa, porcelain Santa on wheels, uh, brand new, never been used. They said right there, three dollars, and I think it sells for around forty dollars. Mm -hmm. Harry Potter wizard chess set. They said that it's new, brand new. Um, so if it's used, it's $20. If it's new open box, it's like $30. And then this sucker here, this is, what would you call this? This is like elementary school. Homeschooling. Homeschooling yes. elementary Spanish. And there is one listed right now for sale in used condition for a hundred and eighty dollars and I think there was three sold yeah. all for anywhere from a hundred to two hundred and fifty dollars all for used and we t spent fifteen dollars on this well, bought she it for, bundled. we bundled, we bundled. she and actually gave me this and that. something else that was five dollars so it was twenty and she gave it to us for fifteen so but yeah we we uh we did really good on that. So fifteen dollars for that puppy. The leap pad. And then what else? We got this leap pad, the one leap pad this whole big bundle. We just sold one of these overseas, kind of like it, with all the games and everything. And then turn around. And for like thirty, thirty-five. And this we got for ten dollars for this entire bundle. And then over this here, five. this entire box with the leap pad pro. Um, these cell comps are not great on these, but I mean it's a big box, lots of books, lots of games down in there. You can see, um, and we paid five bucks for the entire box, and that's what they were asking. We didn't even have to try to get them down. Back over here, we got these kind of cool Keds women's baseball shoes. Paid I think two dollars for them, and I think they sell for fifteen or twenty dollars. And then we got some, are these Danskos or are they Crocs they're or, they're I don't know, comfort brand. shoes. I don't know what they are. But. a Dr. Scholl's. <laughs> a Dr. Scholl's um, shoes for 50 cents, piece. 50 cents piece. So can't complain about 50 cents piece. And then I got to show you this. This is, Donna had one of the easiest, simplest, most profitable flips ever here. And the reason why this is so easy, why is the reason why this is so easy is because it's brand new, it's small. You just take three pictures and you put it online. So Donna was looking at hats and she found this brand new with tags. There's the tags. Brand new. It's got the white behind the bill. Callaway. If you don't know what KPMG is. I didn't. Uh, <laughs> All I this knew is the was same the Callaway. This is the same hat that Phil Mickelson wears when he's golfing. It's uh, his company, I guess. So this is what he wears when he's golfing. And so she paid one dollar for this, and it literally sells for anywhere from like fifty to sixty-five dollars. Here's some sold comps on that. I accidentally. So yeah, she accidentally found this brand new with tags. And all we have to do is post a few pictures of listed, and the sell through rate is crazy. There's not that many listed, and there's like 20 or 30 that have sold. So, yeah, yeah, it was a phenomenal day. All, all in all, we spent $214 on everything, but we're gonna. <laughs> We're gonna make a lot more than that. It's it was a great <laughs> your, great day. Your first day of work was was a my good first one. day of good work job. was a very profitable de profitable day. Now we gotta list it all. I mean, yeah. we have a lot of work ahead of us, but uh, like we said earlier, it's gonna pay off once we get all this stuff listed and get things selling. Man, this is what a good, what a day. What a day. What a day. So didn't mention the little. Looks like Tuesday. Uh, 
looks like uh, tomorrow on Sunday, it's like we're gonna do some work. We gotta try to get some of this stuff listed and get this stuff sold, oh, yeah. so. I'm gonna crack the whip tomorrow. Oh yeah, just gonna crack oh, the whip, whatever. except for right in the middle of the day when I'm going golfing, so. Yeah. <laughs> Watch church so, and yeah, we'll get golf up, and... do church, uh, do some listing, do golf, and then uh, do some more listing. You know, every Sunday night, every Sunday night, about 7 o'clock, I just get really down and I'm like... <sighs> Actually, he gets <sighs> a little owly. <laughs> because as we all understand, we've all been there. We don't want to go to bed on Sunday night because we have to get up and go to work the next morning and start another week. And you know, tomorrow I have nothing to be down about because I'll get up on Monday and just do this. So pretty exciting. Yeah, it was a great day. Got a lot of work ahead of us, but we're going to get her done because that's what we got to do. So, uh, yeah. Anything else, Donna? I can't think of anything. <laughs> <laughs> So it's been a heck of a day. It's been an awesome day. So Awesome day. All right. Well, I won't even hit you with the like and subscribe and all that. The ones that are still watching now, you already are. But hey. The last minute crew. <laughs> the last minute crew. <laughs> That's yeah. what Kayla says. Yep. So anyway, thanks for sticking around. Thanks for checking out our haul from today. Uh, we're still working on the uh, getting the gumption up to actually take the gopro to it with us to the garage sales but we took it we're gonna we do didn't it <laughs> take it out of the car we, we, we will get there so uh anyway yes we will see you soon we'll have another video at some point uh probably like a what's sold or something but hey yeah. for now that's all we got for you we got work to do so i'm steve i'm donna and we are happy heart treasures thanks for watching we'll see you next time peace bye <laughs> Hey everybody, quick update. Uh, it is Sunday morning now. Last night we actually brought our listing areas up here. There's where Donna's working on those magazines. We got a section over there where I was listing things. Um, but I just want to tell you guys, so the video games, like I said, they were all scratched up. Uh, a lot of them are scratched up. Well, uh, over before I went to bed, I messaged on a group that I'm in for eBay thrifters. And I asked about scratched CDs and scratched video games and what what are they are they good for anything? What do you even do with them? And they uh, somebody said on there, check with the local video game store because they have machines that can resurface the video games. Uh, might be for cheap. So great news! I woke up this morning and looked, and the uh, one of the local video game stores here in town they resurface uh, video games for one dollar plus tax. So now instead of being a quarter in for each game. Uh, we're going to take a whole bundle of games to them today and we'll be a dollar and a quarter in, which is fantastic. Uh, we will be able to put that in the title of the auction listings. So uh, that is fantastic news. We don't end up with a bunch of trash. We actually end up with a bunch of very sellable games for a very good profit. So, so I'd let you know that. So we, our goal today literally is to get, our goal today literally is to get all of this listed that's the goal so uh we will see that's that's what we want to get done so we will talk to you soon thanks for watching